Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to your man Jack in the middle. Alright, um the weekly challenge has just begun. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into that. And see if I could be a little bit more diligent with it this week and bring you all the rounds or as many rounds as we can complete as fast as we could complete them. Alright, so you can see that we are uh, four days, 23 hours, 48 minutes. Um, I was, my, my plan was to bring it to you for the countdown, you know, so so while that countdown was actually happening, I was going to show you that, you know, I'm, I'm here ready to record it. But, you know, just in the process of trying to uh, get everything ready, um, kind of took me a little bit longer. But we're right on the crust of it. And um, I have a little bonus clip for you guys at the end of the video also. All right, so some icy races, too cool us to <laughs> some icy races to cool us down in summer. All right, no problem. I think this dude is from uh, from Finland, or he's the boss race for Finland or whatnot. So um, so we need required all surface tires. Thank you for letting us know. Um, is RQ is less than or equal to 62 that's a weird number and if you guys could was, was with me last week you, you kind of see the difference again they have separated it into five sections one two three four five sections about five races each this is what where you this that's the setup it usually is so i guess um last week was just an off week and they kind of you know changed up a little bit for whatever reason all right so let's go ahead actually we don't have to put the filter ourselves because here it is they um okay so it's all surface tires times two so we could actually use off-road tires if we want to but we need at least two all surface tires all right so we're gonna try to go with our two biggest boys hmm interesting we are with four cars in there we are already over the limit let's go ahead and take him out of there still over the limit all surface tires let's uh, oh boy it's not looking good all surface all surface so these are some of my better cars here I would like to have these cars in the race, if, if at all possible. All right, so let, let's um let's undo it up. But actually, if we are on the ice, I'm going to want all all surface, you know, as much as possible, or off road. It doesn't matter. Will that, will that eight work? That eight is not working. Uh, let's let's put try or filter now this time. Let's go off off-road and all surface let's throw standard in there why not and let's turn that filter off okay let's go all the way to the back again is it not off yeah there it is okay let's go all the way to the back again i don't know maybe next time i need to pick a hand first before i drag you guys through this i don't, I don't know if it's a little bit too much having you guys sit here and watch me while I do this all right so this is the car I was thinking about it is an off-road surface tire but again it's putting us a little bit over what we are trying to do or what we need to do hmm. 9.372 here front wheel order but that, that's standard tires now I want I want all surface at least Hmm, guys, 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 guys. Alright, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a sleeper, it wasn't it's not a sleeper, um It's more of a creeper. But this is the guy I actually was thinking of here, and then he's too much too much RQ for us to use him also. Oh let me pick something, I'll be right with you guys. I got a hand picked here, but I'm noticing that um, they're giving us a two time multipliers for some cars here. And I'm not sure what the deal is with these cars that they're giving us a two time multiplier. I was thinking it's rear wheel drive, but this is a rear wheel drive. This is a rear wheel drive. And, um, and I was thinking it's standard tires, but no, some of these are off road tires. We're going to go ahead and pick this one. 
we're gonna go back out real quick and see two for saloon cars all right so i think a saloon car is considered something like four door anything four door would usually i i guess would be a, a, a usually you, you have two door saloons also so it beats me let's let's bring a two times multiplier let's check it out there is going to be asphalt all right so there is asphalt so so standard tires and like like as we as i've mentioned to you guys this is going to be the five tracks we're going to face for the entire time doing this race all right so um ha the frozen lake i don't trust the off-road tires on the frozen lake let's 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 see what we could come up with on the snow he has a four-wheel drive but standard tires uh, let's let's go against him with the off-road tires on the snow asphalt uh, da -da. he's doing 13 seconds on the asphalt half mile drag race maybe here um, g-force test on the snow Okay. front wheel drive standard we should be able to take him out here and okay so give me again one quick second just because I want to write down the tracks that we are going to face so maybe I, I will want to change something up you know uh, coming the next hand as I said because this is gonna be constant again one quick second okay we're ready to go let's see what happens He has a four-wheel drive advantage here, but we should get out way far ahead of him on the, um, you know, with the with the zero to sixty time here. That should uh, that should have us win this race, and of, of course we are way ahead. All right. So bad we might have to speed it up. No, we didn't. All right, let's check it. Let's see what the results. Better handling, lower zero to sixty time. All right. And the car being a low car did not affect us too much. All right, so I was hoping that on the snow, the off-road would do better for us here. But all right, that was that's a little disappointment for us there. That that was that's real shocking. Let's see what happened. Tra okay, traction control. So we're going to probably want to bear that in mind that we're going to need some traction control, even though it's off-road in the snow. Okay, no problem. He should have had better tires for the surface condition there. However, our zero six or zero to sixty time kinda outdid him on that one. And, and we had the multiplier there. Okay, here we have the four-wheel drive. No, actually, no, we just have all surface compared to his standard tires. But he's a front-wheel drive, I'm a four uh, rear wheel drive, so no advantage really for anybody here. Well, except of course, um, says better drive traction better handling which better drive traction or better tires for the surface consider better drive traction so i guess um i guess a rear wheel drive is um i i you know they have a, uh, i i'm not going to lie to you and tell you i know what better drive traction is i'm just going to leave that alone my guess is that a rear wheel drive is would be better drive traction than a front wheel drive but i i don't quote me on that i'm not sure exactly I wonder if there's a, a way to find out what exactly they mean by some of these things that they say. I'll go research that and I'll get back to you. Again, better drive traction. All right, so let's see if anything we could figure out. You know, when you with a four-wheel drive against a front wheel drive i would say better drive traction is the fact that we have four wheel drive so it, it, it makes me want to imagine that a rear wheel drive maybe just under certain conditions like the snow for example or or in cornering which is generally true a rear wheel drive is generally a better corner you know a better handler than than a, um, a front wheel drive vehicle would be but of you know of course you know due to certain conditions whether it's um all right or rq is increasing due to tires or you know just um suspension a few things that you could do to modify a car's performance to 
have a front wheel drive handle better than a rear wheel drive all right let's let's go again give me a second i'm gonna re-pick a hand based on the tracks that are there i don't think i want to drag you through that with me all right give me a second okay guys it took me a little bit but you know this is what i have come up with for what we're going to um do you know um 62 rq I, I I really can't tell you how I even came up with it. It's just a miracle I made it. So having said all of that, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, you know, there are just certain cars. This car here, for example, was... And pretty much that was probably the only car I'm pretty sure I just wanted in my hand. We're going to use that for the frozen lake. Quarter mile in the snow. We wanted to make sure we have some traction control. And of course, we had to have an all-surface tire. So... That's that there. 7.3 here. We're just we're we're gonna hope. I know at some point he would pull out something out of his hat on us. Um on the G Force test. You know, it is what it is. I don't I don't think this guy has traction control. I didn't even think about that, but he is just a monster for us. That we use a usual go-to guy, so I'm pretty sure this guy has traction control. And Question, the question I'm having here, I don't know which one's going to be more important. Maybe traction control is going to be more important if you have to change directions and you're going to have to change directions on the slalom test. So let's um, use the traction control on the slalom test. All right. So this guy here is just going to be a monster for us on the frozen lake. And again, I'm sorry to do it to you guys, but just for the people who like me, like to see the actual... Um, you know cars go round and round the track so you know for some people you probably just just get to the results already but I, I hope you could you know just be patient with us and uh, you know watch the cars go around and around with the rest of us um, I don't want to tell you worst to worst just just um, skip to the end of the video right which is what you probably can do but it would be nice if you sit here with us you know taking some of the commentating there might be something that comes up in the interim of us um speaking that you know you might be might help you out look at that yep so i know he he is not the best i think he is maxed out however yep he is maxed out 332 he's not the best but he has a high top speed which you know which would help out in the half mile drag race so even if a car has a lower zero to 60 time or high top speed my, you know it like in that case won us the race oh I, and I'm sorry I'm not uh, clicking the button so I'll, I'll click the button again to show you guys exactly what they're saying why we're winning the races here better handling better tires for the surface conditions oh this guy's putting in work on us this seat now this should not even be happening but you know that that got scary for a minute there oh he is four-wheel drive but on the standard the standard tire should not compare should not compete with the um i'm going to say that the weight because he is um less than half our weight i'm thinking the weight on the snow has a lot to do with how how you perform so that probably had a lot to do with it. let's check it out though it says better handling traction control better tires for the surface condition and abs braking which I, we did that probably at the um, at the U-turn at the back. All right, so so I think this is the hand we're gonna we're gonna go with from now on. So let's just get back, right back into it again on the frozen lake. We're gonna respect no one when it comes to that four-wheel drive performance. We're still gonna go here. Let's take a look at his car, see if he has traction control. You have no traction control, my man. You're gonna be in for a warm reception. And again, uh, da, 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 da. G Force, yeah, he he's doing 17 at 67. Let's 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 give him a test. Let's see, let's see. We have a lower zero to 60, but he has better handling. Let's let's see what happens on that one. Yeah, mine. This this is just one of my go-to cars. If, if anything off-road, this is a car I would love to just have in my hand all the time. 
there's a few other that car they were giving away last week which was um i believe it was an off-road tire car if i'm not mistaken i have to go back and check the video um if we had ran one round 21 that would have been a, a beautiful car to have in our hand oh the four-wheel drive performance did it to us that four-wheel drive in the snow boy yep gonna, gonna have to look out for that four wheel drive in the snow opal vectra let's see what they said better drive traction hmm. <laughs> better drive traction all right shouldn't stop us from winning three stars but it just makes me want to go back and check again so that was a four wheel drive four wheel drive standard all right all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna check again to see if if, if um I could find anything like that I just figured the all surface would have been better for the snow but again we're seeing as we did in the race previously in the slalom test where the four-wheel drive standard car came out the gate on us you know it kind of had us worried for a second again um, when the car better handling better tires for our surface condition oh we are we are having some scary races here scary scary races they are keeping it tight i think this should do it for us going around the roundabout the four-wheel drive should definitely hold that for us and then yeah that should that should settle it going around that that roundabout there Ooh. all right so let's pick up these cards here oh what was that just now Let's, let's look at that, that last car we pick up. I don't think it was a front wheel, rear wheel drive. I think it's a car I actually, I, it was in my garage and I decided I, was, I would hope I get another one. So I think, yeah, that, that is a car that I did have in the garage. And I had, I, like I tell you guys, that sometimes I'll sell a car in the hopes I get it back. So, oh no, let's look at filter. And I think it was a, I think it was a rear car if I'm not mistaken it was a rear car it would have been if it was here it would have been where would have been oh tell me i have to go back and look let's just touch anything for now 11 okay so compare it's 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 a rear car rq11 and i have another mercedes benz when we get there let's see bum, 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 bum. Is, are there any filters on where is my mercedes benz are you kidding me where is my other benz i have an i have another rq11 benz that should be here and i don't see it did i sell that one also let me see if i sold because i just did a fusion today also so let's see if let's see if i sold that one also bum um no oh all right guys cars are mysteriously disappearing in the garage all right one more quick second i want to see what we're going to do about this car here see if we can find something better for that quarter mile because now they're saying that a four-wheel drive standard car and you know what here let me just keep it with me for that i'm probably going to need the problem is though four-wheel drive and uh, actually let's do four wheel drive and let's go ahead and just pick it it's somewhere down here I, can't, I don't remember yeah so four wheel four wheel drive standard we're looking for and has to be 11 or lower these are the cars i was thinking about but these are performance tires here is one on standard level 10 off-road tires 17 seconds 10 10.5 seconds here on standard tires it, it just might be worth it for that better drive traction oh look we have we have we have the opal vectra that's the car that beat beat us just now with the multiplier but that's performance tires so definitely let's go with the the justy because we can afford the RQ points even though it looks like a lower 0 to 60 on snow the standard tire should be a lot better if we could just only afford one more point we could have gone with the um 
meant that there. Okay, the problem I'm having now is I need another all sur I need one more all surface tire car in my garage. Boy. We might just have to keep that car. We might just have to keep the car we have and just just hope for the best. We're not doing bad too badly. So yeah, let's 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 put that car back. Alright, so what what do we need to do? Um Let's drop four, let's drop four wheel drive. That, that should that should bring it back for us. Pop the pop the two. RQ11. She was RQ13, RQ12, RQ, 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 RQ11. Here we are. Yeah, maybe I should just put in all surface. There, there it goes right here. Yeah, we because we need another all surface tire. So let's um, let's just keep our fingers crossed. The competition doesn't get too hot between now and uh, the time we have to finish this up. All right. So nobody like us on the frozen lake. Quarter mile. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. But again, the four wheel drive with the standard tires. I am just. We're not. We're. Oi, 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 oi. Half mile. They are not making this easy for us at all, are they? 6.3. Let's just do it. He's a, he's a full 16.4 seconds. Let, let's let's see. Just just compare it. See what happens. What they what what their excuses for why we are or are not going to to win. Oh, this one looks very tight, guys. Looks very very tight. Mm. some points in there uh, what I'll do for you guys I'll once he go through the gate I'll speed it up so the other car gets here a little bit faster all right so we have our three stars so if, if we could win some of these which uh, yeah are you gonna do it okay there you go yeah the patrol zero to 60 time was just so bad anyways that you know on and, and we didn't check the, to see what the specs were all right awesome sauce go ahead and give me some extra points because i am worried about the last two races which the g-force wouldn't be so bad if we lost the g-force but we, we 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 stand to lose lots of points if we do lose the slalom test by by a lot which i, I don't think we're going to lose by a lot or car or rover might be struggling but okay better handling better tires <laughs> i keep forgetting to do this guys i'm sorry um, might be struggling but we're not struggling by much all right so the, the fact that he is on um he's on rear wheel drive rwd rear wheel drive compared to our four wheel drive four wd is um so i'm, I'm sure they're going to say better drive traction let's check it out if I remember, yeah, better drive traction and better handling. All right, so we clear victory on that one. No losses whatsoever. And we were worried, huh? Freedom Defender have getting duplicates. All right, if anything, I could sell some cars from this um from this event and get some money in my pocket. All right, race number five, ticket number five, round number five. Four five thousand k we're going for on the frozen lake again nobody like my boy a quarter mile four wheel drive standard so we probably again yeah and you know what we get to test the theory this time it looks like he is completely stuck like we were no he is not he got he has grip and um mid and weight reduction turned up to the max on one pretty much two half mile all right front wheel drive standard we're gonna have him there yeah let's just keep it the same way we've been doing it we could change it up we could change it up a little bit to to ensure yeah let's why not why not let's let's change it up one go it shouldn't have hurt that much oh he pulled out with us huh he was he came out the gate with us just now 
Uh, again, what you're seeing the difference there, this car is rear wheel drive. It's just the off-road tires that give it that. You see it when it takes off, once the wheels get turning, you know, it just it's un it becomes unstoppable. But I guess having the four-wheel drive um, made this car, um, you know, come out, the, come out the gate so forcefully, so powerfully. All right, we're not expecting to win this one, but we're, we're kind of doing an experiment. We want to see... Yeah, so it would have been a better choice if, if we could have if we could have brought that car in. He got 95 points from that. If we could have brought that car in, that would have been a good choice for us. It's just that we needed all surface. So for round six, for between, for round six to ten, what's probably going to happen? And you get that probably sometimes tomorrow. It takes about 13 hours for five tickets to regenerate. Um, Oh, so I'm sorry again, guys. I didn't check the information there. What generally tends to happen is um, they'll increase the RQ amount as the rounds go up. They'll increase the RQ requirement. So, so that should include a few other cars. So it'll give us a few more choices, and um, we should be able to get that back. Better handling. We had a better zero to sixty time, also, I believe. Right, just give my boy here. He has no traction control, but we have the off-road tires to our advantage. We are already around the U-turn, coming back in, so he doesn't stand a prayer on that one. All right, it was we put it on him. We put him on him. That's what it is. It's better tires for the surface condition. All right, so there we go. Pick our last three tickets and get our fire. Get some gold get some cars we could burn yeah, would, if, if it was up to me guys I would keep all those cars but just don't have the garage space so you know I'm, I'm a, I like cars Most car, a lot of cars people think would be ugly and stuff like that I like all those cars oh RQ125 well, you know what I, I think I'll do a separate video for that um, even though it's probably going to be uneventful but I'll just just so it's labeled correctly and if anybody's interested I'm sorry I didn't do a video for the RQ120 pack opening it's just um, that I, I didn't um, you know I, I thought it was going to be une as uneventful as the RQ110 pack opening was and it was actually just so very uneventful all right so this was a blame it on the rain event I was um it was super rear ultra rear cars that we were using didn't I'm surprised I finished that well 54 so um, that was as good as I could do don't have too many ultra rare cars so we're gonna get 40 gold on that 3,000 and um, whatever whatever packet said this was all right so we'll be getting to the bonus clip real soon there basically it's not going to be a race today. It's just something I wanted to show you guys. All right, so Subaru Storm. Okay, this is is this over? It is over, but anything within 200. And I wasn't worried about this one too much. It said anything between it, the, the 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 rank was like 60, either 50 or 60, all the way to 200. And the first time I went, I lost the race. I was like at 80 or 90. I was like, there's no way I was going to get within 60. So 100 goal for coming in at 120 is not nothing to sneeze at and again sometimes this is why your trophy points go up and down just because you know you you, you know you can't do anything about it but it was worth participating in the event ten thousand dollars 100 gold you know that was worth losing a, a few trophies over all right so and whatever card pack this is again that volvo there would be a nice car to have in my hand okay here goes a duplicate for us this car here i have not gotten a ch i have one already like i said it's a duplicate i have not gotten a chance to max it out as yet but i hear that's a very good card to have in your hand and uh, you know so it might be a card that we try to keep unfortunately i need to upgrade my ultra rear car so we probably just won't end up keeping it all right so this was a daily event oh guys we missed the we missed the rank 60 somebody came in at the last minute and knocked me out i was sitting right at rank 60 I was hoping I would hold on to it. Didn't hold on to it, but it's okay. We can get some cash, and we're gonna get these um, these common common performance cars, so I could use these for some fusion. So you know, all is not lost.
and do it it is hard to get common cars sometimes sometimes you're so so this is your bonus track guys here right here on your screen formula fun is up and i am rank number one unbelievable guys unbelievable rank number one untouchable you know what I should, I should, because I'm not going to bring you this event. So I, I should probably here. I got two tickets. I think I have it written down somewhere. The hand I've been using for this here somewhere. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to use the hand I have been using. Let's go through real quick and pick it. This guy is in here. It's Formula Fun. It's all. It's off road. Two off. There's two asphalt tracks, but for the most part, it is off road. All right, so 4.061. There's a okay. That's uh, this guy is in there. Uh, let's see what else we got coming down. 4.8, 4.89. Oh, okay, that was that guy there. 4.0. That's all the way down. Um, up next, I think is going to be or Suzuki. Or Suzuki is a part of it. 6.3. Or, or Benz here is a part of it and you see we're one RQ over and I say there's two asphalt track there's usually a drag track so we have this guy here that's my lineup okay now this guy here I just want to put a he is pulling up close to us this all right this this is a new competitor here also in the game looks like he's coming in hot trying to trying to make a name for himself twisty road on the dirt I could put a licking on him here but this is the guy from what I paid when I paid attention just now this is the guy in the lead slalom test oh that's a nice car he has going on there 5.2 all right give me one quick second I'm gonna write down his specs and um, because I'm just kind of keeping tabs on these guys the guys that are kind of staying close to me All right, so give me one quick second. Let me write his spec down. I'm gonna edit it for you So you so your bonus clip is not too long Okay, we're back guys um, Got this guy written down already. I was just writing down that last guy there Simon All right, but this from what we've seen this guy is the guy that is on my tail right now 6.389 he is matching me as far as the g-force is concerned as far as the twisty circuit is concerned he is matching me he has the same performance stats as me he is matching me on the zero to 100 the slalom tests in the dirt now i don't know if i'm gonna have a problem with him with the truck and i might have a problem with him on the slalom test on the asphalt but he is next to me so we're going to have to give it a try and we're going to see if we could knock him down a little bit so i think we're gonna go there because everything else we have to just go for the draw and see how it works so so he has not been testing me and i'm just gonna go ahead and forward that because that's gonna be a draw we have the same specs and um you know i doubt there's much he could have done to, to hide that this is just a zero to 100 that's gonna pass real quick so i'm not gonna try to forward that um so this is gonna be interesting here let's see what happens here we know that you know traction control could give him an, an advantage over us um all right so yep he was able to do it to us there guys oh man oh man is there a new champion in the house 10.383 the suzuki vitaro we're going to have to do something about that oh man all right we're gonna forward this what 5.289 he has he has confused his upgrade a little bit he has done something different he did he went he went max max two three How, somehow he's coming out with the same specs okay but um i went okay so i went max on the max on the handling max on performance and he went max all right but somehow oh man that this this is a real tickle for me right here because there was a question i was wondering if it's all if it's all better to you know do a car like this always have if you know if, if you're going to go engine do then do engine and weight and forget about the handling 
or go as he have it has it here weight and handling and forget about the engine but you know so here it is i'm winning a race because i have max engine max handling and so I've never really been in a situation like this and, it, and it's causing me to to rethink you know how how i how i upgrade my cars from because I, I was actually about to change the way i upgrade cars and here it is i might have to so yeah so we're gonna so we have there is a new champion in the house we've lost this one here is a, he's 100 points we lost the match we are now second place the new champion now is is now bruno diaz oh gosh guys oh man all right Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm fighting for second place at this point. But you know, I'm not gonna give up. We got his specs written down. That Vitara. We're gonna have to go and see what we could do about that Vitara right there. Alright. Um as a Suzuki Vitara. Alright, um I do have one more ticket to spend. Felipe Brando is is next. I think I've beaten him before. Um let's let's go. And you know what? I th you, you guys might actually be enjoying this, so let's let's go one more time. Let's hope Felipe is there, and let's see if we could knock down Felipe this time. Felipe is coming 4.1, 6.5. Oh boy, oh boy, guys! All right, all right. Let's let's go at Felipe. Let's go at Felipe real quick. Let's see if we could knock down Felipe. Let's see if we get back in first place. All right. So on the G force, huh? Very interesting. We could beat him on the G-Force. 0 to 100. We could beat him on the Slalom. Take him out. Go for him on the Twisty Road. Let's see what happens on the Asphalt. Oh, let's make sure we did that right. Alright, so there's always two Asphalt, always two Dirt. Hoping that we take the win here. Alright, we're going to watch these because these aren't, um, you know, aren't going to be draws. So we're going to watch these. Alright, so boom. Yeah, so I am going to go to the drawing board and and um and see because i do have a vitara and we just got some money we just got some money just now so either i change i do have a backup hand i was thinking about running so either i run my backup hand and um which is going to give me a little bit lower on that on that zero you know doing the doing quarter mile and dirt tracks and stuff like that however it might it might work out a little bit for me when it comes to um that guys i'm so sorry about that it might work out for me when it comes to um when it comes to when it you know comes to handling tracks and, and whatnot so I, I actually hmm, I don't know because he beat us on the handling also so I might just have to actually follow his lead and just try to replace this here Mer Mercedes right here I might just have to try to follow his lead and find something that will replace the Mercedes which might might be the Vitara so even if we lose this one here we're still enough points ahead to 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 knock him down a little bit so you can see you know i'm back up in the points 12 it is 12 to 2 at this point all right that's going to be it for your guys and um he is back down to 87 so um that's going to be it guys for your your bonus clip for our new weekly challenge all right and um and that was that's a hard name for me to pronounce there the guy we're up against but all right but I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one I'll try to be more diligent about that and um more a little bit probably more diligent about your bonus clips also all right but i just had to show this to you guys my first time number one guys yep there it is sit number one i'll see you guys in the next one you guys be easy bye bye Drop them. Drop them. Drop them.